Hi everyone, in this video we are going to find interval of convergence of this power series, right? So that power series we have, so let us write that power series first, then we will discuss its interval of convergence. So let me write, we have, we have that summation n running from 1 to infinity, x plus 3 raised to n minus 1 upon n. So this is power series we have, so let us write its coefficient. Cn. Okay, so let us write Cn. Then Cn. Cn means coefficient multiple of this bracket, which is one minus. So this is our Cn. To find the interval of convergence, we need to find radius of convergence. So let me write first. The radius of convergence is a reciprocal of alpha. Okay, and see alpha can be calculated in two different ways. The first formula is alpha is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod cn raised to 1 minus. So this is the formula, first formula of alpha and the second is limit n tends to infinity mod cn plus 1 upon cn. So when we have power n, then we go generally go for the first formula, otherwise we go for the second formula. And the second possibility is if you have such odd power, generally what is the standard form? Raised to n, no, here we have n minus 1, sometimes we have n plus 1, n minus 2 like that. So in that case, we go for the first formula again. So the power is n minus one. So that's why I'm using the first formula. Okay. So let me mention, then let us find alpha using first formula limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod cn. So uh, instead of one by n, I should write one by n minus one. Since here we have a power n minus one. Okay. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of what is our cn 1 by n raised to 1 by n minus 1. So limit n tends to infinity supremum of c. Uh, no need to apply mod since 1 by n it's a positive real number right and see here the numerator and denominator having combined power 1 by n minus 1 so we can take separate separate powers 1 raised to anything 1 let me write here and n raised to 1 by n minus 1. So let us use this space to solve the remaining part of this problem. Okay, so just a minute, let me write here. So yes, let us continue here. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of 1 upon, see I'm going to do a small adjustment. So that adjustment is n raised to 1 by n into n upon n minus 1. See, simply I multiplied numerator and denominator by n in power, okay? This is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of 1 by 1 n raised to 1 by n raised to n by n minus 1, getting? So actually we are familiar with this rules of indices a raised to n raised to m is equal to a raised to nm. So using these rules of indices, we could easily write. Okay, so I have written this bracket has power again, n upon n minus one. Let us continue here. Limit n tends to infinity supremum of, okay, one upon n raised to one by n. See here in power, what will I do? I will divide numerator and denominator by n. Okay, what I'm saying? I'm dividing numerator and denominator by n. So n upon n, 1 here I am dividing by n so 1 minus 1 by n okay so this thing I got but we know that n raised to 1 by n goes to 1 as n tends to infinity and second 1 minus 1 by n see 1 by n tends to 0 so 1 minus 1 by n tends to 1 so this fact we have so that's why this base is all going to 1 as well as that power also going to 1 so that's why its value is 1. So finally, we got the value of alpha, which is 1. So now we will find radius of convergence. Then radius of convergence is reciprocal of alpha. Alpha is 1. So 1 upon 1 is 1. So I got the radius of convergence. Now we will find interval of convergence. So make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. So let us find interval of convergence now. Let me write here. Interval of convergence interval of convergence is equal to so it is a set of all real numbers such that 
So what is the bracket we have? x plus 3. So mod x plus 3 less than radius of convergence, which is 1. So let us use one result. So let me mention which result we are using. So that result is mod a less than b if and only if minus b less than a less than b. So here in this case, a is x plus 3 and b is 1. So let us use this result. So that's why we can write minus 1 less than x plus 3 less than 1. Okay. So using this result, I could write it. After that, what will I do? I'm going to add, uh, see, x plus 3 we have now. So I'm going to subtract 3 from all sides. So this is equal to x belongs to R. I'm subtracting 3. Minus 1, minus 3, minus 4. If you subtract 3, we will have x. If you subtract 3, we will have minus 2. So that's why. So interval of convergence is a collection of all real numbers, which lies between minus 4 and minus 2. So that's why the interval of convergence is minus 4 comma minus 2. So this is the required answer. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.